slavery was particularly bad in the South, and the Gare plantation was extremely raped, bad. They were mutilated, they were branded, they were beaten. Oh my God, there are so many souls hovering here. I would here. admit, Ryan, I agree with your idea. The spirit of Miss Carolyn still haunts this place. So the gold is still there. The headless ghost of Mama has been haunting this plantation. Give me to death. There was a voodoo priestess who was hung by a lynch mob in Laguerre Plantation. Voodoo is a spirit, and There's you can't great play with voodoo. It can come. You, you really, really don't want to mess around with the Do some bloodbath, severe rape, torture, beatings. This is where all the slaves were buried. The slaves were, were killed at the end. Never go back there. Somebody come get me now! Okay, now I'm getting scared. I want to get out of here. to take a journey into the supernatural. I want to uh, give you some advice. If either one of you began to have that feeling of impending danger, it's something like a, a very bad vibe that you get, and it feels like it starts to, you know, scratching over you. Get out. Don't stay. You're in danger. This is freaky, man. My name is Jeremy. My name is Darren. I'm 19 and I'm from Washington, D.C. I'm 20 years old and I'm from Burbank, California. My name is Sunshine. I'm 19 years old. My name is Rachel. I'm 18 and I'm from Michigan. I'm from Westbury, New York. Hi, I'm Jennifer. I'm 19 years old. I'm from Queens, New York. I love horror movies. I don't want to be here anymore. I'm going to see death tonight. I definitely believe in spirit. What's that? I don't believe in ghosts, I do believe in spirits. My biggest fear? I don't really have a greatest fear. <laughs> Death? I'm scared of a lot of things. Death. Spiders? Sometimes I can get a little hysterical. This is bullshit. I'm gonna try as much as I can to stay in control. I just heard something really loud. I just have to think nice, happy thoughts. <laughs> I'm gonna do my best out there. Somebody come get me now. Oh no. Oh What's gonna happen? It's about to start. I can't do this. Everything is all up here in my head. I'm just waiting over the radio. It's gonna get crazy. You guys, please pray for me. I just heard a fucking noise. Okay, that's enough. I'm scared now. Good luck and Godspeed. That's rough. Uh, All right. Begin your stay by going to the video page. We're here at Laguerre Plantation, a once thriving plantation. Slavery was particularly bad in the South, and Laguerre Plantation was extremely bad. Slaves were killed at random. It was a horrifying experience, something that no one would never want to actually experience themselves. Oh, my God. This was the place of of severe rape, torture, beatings. One of the ways the slaves survived here in the New World is that they stayed in touch with their ancestors by voodoo. Voodoo is not just something that Hollywood had produced to the world. It was a religion, a very ancient one. One of the slaves, known only as Miss Kitty, was believed to be a very powerful voodoo priestess. It's believed that when she died, she put a curse on this plantation. Well, I didn't see this kid a bunch of times after she died. Kitty goes to steal that.
your objective over the next two nights will be to determine if the plantation is indeed haunted. Your investigation will take you to several locations on the plantation where paranormal activity has been reported. The main house, Laveau cabin, Miss Kitty's cabin, and the cemetery. You must begin now. Good luck. Uh-oh. Dare one. Yellow, go to Laveau cabin and await further instructions. Green will navigate. I am... <laughs> Hello, guys. Okay, listen carefully. Walk ahead and you will see several large bales of hay. Ow! Okay. Okay. Walk through the bales of hay. You will soon come upon a structure, which is Kitty's cabin. Okay, I'm standing right at it. My face camera just went off. I mean, the light. Keep talking to me, please. I'm scared up in here. You My face camera just went off. I mean, the light. Okay, listen. Every now and then, turn the camera to your face. Okay, tell me what to do. Let me know when you get back to camera. I'm at the camera. Then let me know what to do. Come on. Let me know when you get I just said I am there. Well, I'm not getting these responses, sunshine. Yes, you need to stop yelling, okay? Facing the front of the cabin, look directly to your right across the field. It's just a whole lot of candles and uh, bottles and bricks and a dirty old mattress and a plastic bag and some wood. Okay, listen to this. This is a real voodoo altar. Neighbors believe this altar is still used by local voodoo worshippers. Open the box and take out the scissors. Cut off a lock of your hair and place it on the altar. You must cut off at least four inches long piece of hair. I can't cut a three inch long chunk out of my head. This is bullshit. Just please. Do not cuss me out. Just please do it so you can get back as expeditiously as possible. It's cut. See that MTV? Look at all this hair. Once you have placed your hair upon the altar, you must state your three greatest fears. By stating your greatest fears, you open yourself up to the spirit world and are in, uh, what is that word? Infinitely more suspect. Susceptible! The word is susceptible. Girl's gonna drive me crazy. My three greatest fears are that I will lose my mother, that, um,. I'll be killed in a car accident, or that I'll lose any other member of my family. Those are my three greatest fears. Now listen, Sunshine, you must kneel at the altar and wait in radio silence until further notice. Let's hurry up and radio back, please. Air two. Purple, bring the equipment box to the main house. Blue will navigate. Purple and blue. Purple, and blue. Purple is me. Woo! Here we go. We're doing this. All right, good luck. All right. We love you. Right. Here we go. Walk until you come upon a large wooden driveway gate. I'm inside the gate and I see a house in front of me. Okay, 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 I can't see. I've been here, yo. Okay, I'm in front of the porch. Walk through the front door. Go inside the house? Yup. 
Holy. Hold on. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I'm gonna let you know when I get inside, okay? Half an hour now. I've been out here. Get me the f out of here. Okay, now I'm getting scared. I want to get out of here. hung her in the main parlor, right from the chandelier. And once she was dead, they severed her head. The headless ghost of Mama has been haunting this plantation ever since. We are now about to perform a voodoo funeral rite to try and assist the safe passage of Mama's spirit to the land of the dead. Open the box. I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this, I can do this. Oh my God. Remove one pig foot from the box. What? What? Okay, I did it. I can't say this. Okay. We must now eat the meat off the pig foot slowly. You are joking. Eat the meat off the pig foot? Cemetery and await further instructions. Red will navigate. Await to number blue. Who's that? Me. A headless body seen roaming. Various sightings all the time. And the woman was about tall as me. Even with no head, she was tall as me. Picked me up, had me up there like this. And I was trying to run, but I couldn't get loose from her. Get out of me. It would have did. 
Maybe I wouldn't miss Ryan that graveyard day or night. Walk ahead and you will see several large bales of hay. Walk through the bales of hay. Spirits, I'm not here to harm you. Right after that, you know what I mean? Like right after I passed the bales of hay is when my went out. Are you serious? Yeah, it's that whole area. I'm out here and there's a bunch of stuff making noises. I just heard a f noise. Just keep talking to me. We're right here with you. I'll try again. Okay. Okay. You are about to enter the woods. You will see two trees marking the start of the trail that will lead you into the cemetery. Follow the path as it snakes up the hill until you will see several graves. One is marked by a headstone with a cross on it. This is known as the zombie grave. Okay, I see it. In 1835, a white slave foreman named Carl was found lying dead in the field with several stab wounds in his back. About 10 days after his burial, slaves began to report seeing Carl walking through the trees at night. Some speculated that the body became a zombie. To this day, his grave has remained undisturbed. Is your task to open up the grave to see the story of the zombie is true? <sighs> She's to open the oh grave? My God. You will use the shovel to dig up the grave. I'm digging. This is sacred ground here at Laguerre. And to disturb any of these graves would not be something that you would want to do. Yeah, I would miss around that grave, yeah, day or night, day or night, day or night. Lord, I'd just like to ask you to comfort her and keep her safe. Please forgive her for desecrating this person's grave. I pray, amen. What's that? Please, spirits. I'm fine. I'm not here. I'm not here to harm you. I'm not here to harm you. I swear. <laughs> Please stop. God, help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. Help me. I'm just gonna keep digging. Just gonna keep digging. I'm out here and there's a bunch of stuff making noises. And I'm just, you know, I'm realizing, you know, this is some sacred ground and, you know, they're just. I'm just waiting over the radio. I can't wait to get back. Rachel, you must thoroughly report back possible findings over the radio. I found something. Bones. We got a big bone. Looks like a, what is this? A arm or leg bone or something. Yeah, that's what I got. Over. Yeah. You may now return to the safe house. box containing the deer meat to Kitty's cabin. Green will navigate. Ready to go, guys. Walk straight out ahead of the safe house. As this is ah! keeping it to your left. You will soon see a large branch to your left. Ow! Ow! Hold on, I just fell down. Ow! Ah! 
Okay. All right, I'm good. What now? Walk straight ahead, 50 feet. Okay, copy. Copy, I got it. The yard should be to your left. Confirm that you are at the tree. I'm at the tree. So I know where I'm at. Walk through the bales of hay, right? Yes. You will soon come upon a structure, which is Kitty's cabin. Copy. Locate the fire pit directly in front of cabin. Copy. Light a fire in the, in the pit. Confirm when the fire is lit and burning. Fire started. Take the meat and rub the rosemary oil onto it, soaking it completely. Rosemary, rosemary oil is used in voodoo to prepare the dead. All right, it's rubbed all over it. Now place the piece of flesh in the small wooden box. Done. Place the wooden box onto the fire. While the flesh burns, you must wait inside the cabin on the left side. You must sit down in the center of the room with your back to the door. This was the place of severe rape, severe torture, rape, beatings. Torture, beatings. Well, I done seen this kid a bunch of times after she died. Kitty goes to steal it. Kitty goes to steal it. Kitty goes to steal it. Dare 5. Purple, go to the master bedroom in the main house and await further instructions. Blue will navigate. Yeah, Where's that woman going? I need water. I can't walk. I'm not feeling good right now. I gotta go in the f***ing house again. I gotta go in the... I just f***ing did this shit. What the f*** is going on? Walk through the front door. You're now in the hallway. Walk up the stairs until you get to the very top. Go to the first door on your right. You're now in the bedroom. Right now, I am at the bedroom. When Kitty was a young girl, the owner came in and had his way with her so many times, she just couldn't fight him off. And she's still in here. Many have seen the ghost of Kitty in this room where she was raped. No one has spent a night in this bed since the plantation was abandoned. You must now lay down on the bed. Get the f out of here, I gotta lay on this bed. Are you crazy man? It says to lay on the bed and you have to remain in complete silence until further notice, you can do it. Oh my God, I'm gonna do this right now. Oh my God, oh my God. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, hold up, hold up, guys. This is the master bedroom of the plantation owner. He was brought up to this room and savagely raped on this bed.
please get me the f out of here. Come on. I hear noise. Okay, Sunshine, listen to this. Asses are known to have strong supernatural power. I've been out here for three hours. I just want to go back, please. Use the ass scooper that is lying next to the fire pit to scoop up the asses of flesh. All right, I've got it. Next, take some of the ashes. Now you must completely cover your face with the ashes. Done. You may now return to the safe house. Are you okay? Oh my God. First of all, those bales of hay with no camera, I fell three times on my face. I probably broke this thing. Uh-oh. Dare six, yellow. Bring the zombie potion to the cemetery. Purple will navigate. Yellow. Done in 60 seconds. Don't take the stuff off. Oh my Navigator God, that's purple. Yellow, who's yellow? Are you yellow? I'm yellow. Navigator purple. Purple. That's wrong. For me? Yeah, yeah. you're yellow. It has to be done in 60 seconds. Wait, I have to go to That's not fair. I was gone for three hours. Yeah, I know what. You got another one. Oh. Can I get a drink of water? I can't. You can't take off your shoes. You gotta go. No, my shoes fell seconds. off. I just put them Okay, I'm sorry. Good luck. Walk straight out ahead of the safe house. Look for a tree to your left about 75 feet ahead. Wait, was I walking to where the cemetery was? Confirm that you were at the tree. Yes. Got that. This is Repeat that. Yes, I, I'm on the, the gra I'm by the graveyard right now. What did you say? Hello? Sunshine, I can't understand what you're saying. Repeat that, please. Hello? Facing the side of the cabin, walk to the left. Where? Wait, repeat that again, slower. Use the tree line like a trail and follow it. You will come upon a branch. I do not see any branch. Calm down. Give me a minute. I just want to make sure. Okay, so I'm trying here. I'm not doing this there. I just, I'm, I'm going to go. I can't, I don't know where I am and I'm really lost. Can't somebody else take this dare for me and like trade with me or something? I do not know where I am. Okay. I'm totally lost. Oh God. I can't get out of here. I don't know where I am. What do you see around you? You can do this. Sunshine, don't worry about it. You can do I it. don't see anything around, around me. I d don't tell me. Don't worry about it. I want someone to come get me. Is that clear? Please. Oh. I can't see anything. I don't know where I am. I'm lost. Describe what's around you, Sunshine. I I, there's nothing around me. Trees. I'm in a bridge. What do you think is around me? You don't want to go through with this mission, Sunshine? No, I do not want to go through with this mission. I am absolutely positive. Sunshine? Yes! Hello? Rachel's coming to get you, okay, sweetie? It's nice, son. Coming. I'm at, like, the edge of the woods, I think. Ah! Please move towards me, I can't see anything! What? Don't worry about it. I'm just trying to get her out of here. Rachel, I see you. I see you. Like, I don't understand. Like, how did I go out three times? Please send somebody else. Like, don't send me again. I would have never found my way out of there. I would have been stuck. I just had, like, this impending feeling of something bad was going to happen. There's definitely no denying that there's something going on out there. It sucks, but you do. So I'm just going to go home and get laid. <laughs> I think I'll feel a little bit better. Yeah. Take care. Red, bring the zombie potion to the cemetery to complete Yellow's dare. Purple will navigate. The dare must continue immediately. We'll see you guys later. Ready. Walk straight ahead. The fence in graveyard should be to your left. Got it. 
There are so many souls hovering here. And this is very sacred ground. You are now in the main part of the cemetery. Here you will find the grave. I'm not here to harm you guys. I am just visiting. Okay, yeah, it's a creepy big one. One of the darker and lesser known practices is the voodoo art of zombification. When they came to the new world, they brought the knowledge of how to create zombies by using the poison and paralyzing people by shutting down the nervous system. First, you must remove a stone or brick from inside Isabella's grave. You okay there? Done. A stone or brick from a grave is a very powerful tool to attract the powers of the spirit world that will guide you in your zombie state. Connecting you to the spirit world. Now open the bottle. You okay there? You must drink every drop of the potion now. Yeah. You may now return to the safe house, Red. Are you okay there? I'm working on it. Oh. I'm able to come back, right? Yeah, man, come back. I just heard something really fing loud. Home sweet home, baby. <laughs> What's up? That stuff was nasty. Open the large sack. <laughs> Dare seven. Green, bring the canvas bag to the cemetery. Red will navigate. Walk straight ahead 50 feet. The fenced in graveyard should be on your left. There you will see several graves. One of which is marked by the headstone with a cross on it. Just past this grave is Kitty's grave. Her headstone is marked with the name on it. Find her grave now. Okay, I'm at Kitty's grave. 
tombstone thing. Okay. You are now at Miss Kitty's grave. You are about to perform a voodoo grave ceremony to contact Baron Semity, the voodoo guardian of the spirit world. This ceremony will make your body a vehicle through which Kitty's spirit can speak. First, take the vinegar out of your satchel. Spirit is an important component of many voodoo rituals and is often used when communicating with the dead. Now pour it onto the grave. Pour it onto the grave? Yes. I poured it onto the grave. Now kneel down in front of the grave. Open a large sack and describe to the contents to the safe house. Shh, I, I'm, okay, I'm hearing things. I'm hearing dogs. I'm not here to harm you. I'm just doing a, a job. You know, I come in peace, spirits. I like spirits. I'm not a harmful being. I'm not a harmful human. Um, excuse me, there's a snake in my bag. There's a snake in my bag. There's a snake in my bag. <laughs> this, this is so stupid. I see you never done this. Oh my god, he's gotta take the snake out. No. He's got to. <gasps> you will hold the snake high out in front of you and move it in a circular motion above the grave. You must continue to move the snake in a circle for an entire time period. Be careful and go very slowly. You are performing a centuries-old ritual in which the snake represents communication from the living to the spirit world. I can't do this. Um, I cannot do this, man. I don't mess with snakes. I don't mess with snakes. You can do this. I know you can. You've made it this far, and you can keep going with the rest of us. <laughs> See your shadows move, man. I'm hearing footsteps. <laughs> God, this is scary. I'm out of batteries. Can somebody please talk to me? Please. Don't the thing coming in. Footsteps. Well, I'm, I think the snake might be out on the loose. Get me out of here. I don't want to be here anymore. Get me. Oh, my God. Come on. Come on. Somebody needs to come out here because I don't know how to get back home and I need to get out of here right now before and I'm bumping. I can't. Somebody come get me now. You won, okay? MTV, you won. You can do this. She's gonna go home. I know you can do this. You are going to do it. You have it in you. You can do this, my man. <laughs> Nana, Nana, help me, Nana, Take please. Take some time. Please, Nana. Don't think about the Nana, snake. Please. Take time for yourself. Nana. Then when you're ready, hold the snake high out in front of you and put it in a circular motion for 15 seconds. Move it slowly and put it back in the bag. It's worth $5,000. It's worth $5,000. I know you can do this. Oh, Tell me when to start the timer. Hold it. Oh my god. It's wet and nasty and slimy. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my. I got the snake in my hand! Hold up. Do a circle. You've got it, man. You have the thing in your hand. Hey, stop. She haunts the cemetery where she lost a headless body. A headless body. Mess around me. Mess around me. Well, just dead. You've got this, man. Put the snake back in the bag.
flash the light, I see a snake, I jump back. Well, congratulations, you got survival. Oh, yes! <laughs> The envelope contains a map that will lead you to the money. Did it, man? You did it! Tell you anybody I was going to do it! I definitely think there's something going on here, and they shouldn't come haunt me because I don't want them to. The stuff that I heard, I don't think that it's something that you can, like, fake. I will never do this again. It made me do something that I've never done before, and um, I'm really proud of myself. I don't know how we all did it. So it should be like right in here. Yeah. All four of us going there. No. Oh, bring it out here. Oh, 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 your mission tonight is to relive your fears and discuss their lingering effects. Oh! I want to hear what was going on. She said it felt awesome. And then we did begin to feel their pain. <laughs> oh my God. I've never been that scared in my life. I didn't know what I was doing. The banging kind of interrupted your love affair. Oh, oh my God. God. <laughs>